Today we are going to be looking at fit tolerances for 3D printing. As we can see, there are a lot of rules when it comes to FDM 3D printing, but today we are going to focus on tolerances, which can also be described as dimensional accuracy. So what is fit tolerance? We can see from this example what happens when we print filament through an extruder. As the filament is dispensed, the extruder irons the filament onto the previous layer. The filament is extruded into a shape referred to as a bead. This is because the sides are rounded as we can see in this example. When the nozzle prints a layer, we can see the rounded edges can be somewhat predictable based on criteria such as layer height, material type, nozzle size, and things like that. This is why we use a tolerance test so we can see how far that rounded edge will expand when we print using our own variables. This is why when we print a hole and a peg with the same diameter, they will not fit together. We need to account for the expanded material and that outermost edge of the bead. Before we get into creating our part, let's first talk about a tolerance test. This is a test file that you can create on your own or you can download a tolerance test file online. So what does this tolerance test do? Viewing the STL file inside of Iger slicing software, we can see that my tolerance tester has seven different sizes ranging from 0.05 millimeters to 0.5 millimeters. Each circle can be turned using an Allen key and we can see what the fit will look like for our printer setup. Taking a look at my printer settings, I am using 0.2 millimeter layer height with 20% infill utilizing supports and I am printing using a plastic filament. I printed this part out and we can see how it works in action. As I turn each key, we'll notice that some spin easily since it has a larger fit tolerance like the 0.5 millimeter. Some turn slower and have a more snug fit like the 0.25 millimeter hole. Lastly, I can see that some don't turn at all. And the 0.2 millimeter hole is the largest number that will not turn. Using this 0.2 millimeter as a fit tolerance will ensure that I have a snug fit and nothing will move around. Again, all printers will have different fit tolerances. For a snug fit, my printer needs a 0.2 millimeter fit tolerance. This is why it's important to test your printer to see what fit tolerance works for you. This has been testing your 3D printer fit tolerance. If you like this video, please be sure to check out our YouTube channel.